Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. It's another mission editor in DCS video today and as requested it and we're looking at CTLD in the mission editor which is a relatively advanced thing. I mean it's complete troop and logistics deployment. So my understanding of this slide is that this allows us to have a bunch of troops on the ground uh, say and we can go and pick them up with our helicopter in the mission transport them and then drop them off somewhere else with our helicopter is that it or is there more to it than that yeah there's slightly more to it than that so you can also uh pick up uh, cargo crates and you can uh basically make so you can pick up cargo crates and then make um employ uh, emplacements in the field so if you need a jtac you can create a jtac unit pick it up and transport it out into the field in real time um, if you want mm -hmm. to deploy a SAM site, a friendly SAM site, mm -hmm. you would need to spawn in. So something like the Patriot, you'd mm -hmm. need a group of helicopters. You'd spawn in seven crates. You'd fly those seven crates out to the position mm -hmm. that you want to build the SAM site. And through the, CL, through, through the CTLD menus, mm -hmm. you'd then build that SAM site. So it's, cool. it's a tool that allows you to do a lot more things. Uh, but it is a tool, and you actually have to do the mission making yourself using the tool. So we're not going to go fully into depth with it, but we're just going to show 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 off how we can be used. Roger that. Cool. So that sounds quite cool then, like moving parts of SAM sites out and stuff like that. So a lot of online servers have this, multiplayer servers have this kind of thing, don't they? I've always wondered how they do it. So. Yeah, exactly. Right, so we're going to grab the first thing, which is DCS MIST, Mission Scripting Tool. Scares me a little bit, so I'm going to copy that there. I've got to remember to include these in the video. Um, let's go here. Okay, so I'm going to click on release. No, it's not hotfix. Just uh, missed 4374.raw. That's going to be it. Clicking on it now. I'm going to save it temporarily as in my downloads. Okay, let's get rid of that. Next, I'm going to do the next one, <clears throat> the uh, the master.zip, new browser, click it, save as, uh, downloads. Okay, I've got the two files downloaded, just get rid of all that tosh. Right, so I've got mist.ra and I've got um, a DCS CTLD master.zip, so what shall I do with which one first? Okay, so if you open mist up, so start with mist because that's the the first one we need. Mm -hmm. um, we won't go like through fully setting everything up and and like making a full mission because that would be like a two three hour video. Nice. We'll just show you the building or show the viewers the building mm -hmm. blocks of what they need to use and how they can get the uh, the tools they need. Mm -hmm. We should open it up and you should see uh, some example. Um, DB folder, mm -hmm. you've got uh, mist guide and PDF, you've got a revision change log, and then you should have the mist file, which is the dot lua file, mist yeah. 437, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that basically is the script file that has all of the mist um, sort of low level scripts in it. Mm -hmm what we can do or the functions and what we can do with it is don't directly use mist or you can directly use mist but we won't go into it um but we'll use the ctld script which calls the mist functions which is why we need both mm -hmm. so what we would do is we would create an a new mission and the first thing we do in our new mission is create a trigger to call this mist script and then we point it the trigger to this mist script wherever we've unzipped it on our machine mm -hmm. right. okay so, uh, so if you open the ctld up my ctld is zero kilobytes so i'm going to need to go and re-download that while i open the mist up should i put these files somewhere uh, you can just extract them uh onto your desktop or something um like i say we won't we, we, we're not yeah, going to particularly yeah. need to do them use the files today um yeah. We won't create a mission from scratch, but we will just show off uh, a very small portion of what CTLD with MIST can do. Roger. Right, I'm just going to go re-download the CTLD because it just didn't download properly. Okay, that's downloaded. Cool. Now I'm going to go cross that off, go back to here. Right, so we now have a 60 megabyte uh, DCS CTLD master. I'm going to look in there. We've got a folder in there. 
And what would I do um, usually? Where would I put this folder? So again, that's um, so this is kind of a, a setup thing. So mm -hmm. all you would do is extract that somewhere on your machine, mm -hmm. and in the mission editor, you'd make a trigger that calls the ct the ctld dot lure file, yeah. and that would load that load it into the mission. Roger, understood. Okay, uh, what shall we do next? I'll send you a mission just because I tested this one this morning and know it 100 percent worked. Okay, so um, basically, if we both load this mission up and then uh, you can fly it and film it, and I'll like talk you through. All right, let me just download this mission quickly. Save as, just going to save it in my C drive. Pick up the drop off demo, save. Finish. Right, let's load up DCS now, shall we? So while we're waiting, basically what, what this this particular mission is, um, it, was, it was basically what uh, what triggered me off of the mission we did with the um, the helicopters and the hellhounds the other day. Roger. The other week, uh, where we were going to go and pick up the hellhounds mm -hmm. and the troops were already deployed in the field. We were going to swoop down, pick them up and transport them to their next objective. Mm -hmm. This is... This mission uh, basically is exactly the same. It's a um, troops are already in the field. Mm -hmm. You pick them up and then you transport them to another area. But instead of doing the like we did in the Pretending. other mission, yeah. this one we can actually do it for real. Roger. All the CLTD commands are accessed via the F10 other menu, so you'll you'll need to use your radio buttons. Roger. Right. Um, I'm in the mission editor now. What I see cool. is uh, Batumi and some whatever that is, some infantry and helicopter. Perfect. Right, so you'll start in the helicopter. Yep. You'll move into the uh, return base zone. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, the troops will appear. And you'll land in front of them. You don't have to be that close to them. Um, you then, once you're landed, use your F10 menu. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can give you the options, but it, you'll basically go through the command menu uh, to the bit where it says unload and load or unload and extract mm -hmm. troops mm -hmm. so they will extract onto your helicopter you'll fly them down the other end of the runway where the blue smoke will be mm -hmm. and you'll land and then go through the menu to deploy them mm -hmm. and then that will be it and you'll just fly back roger so should we look at the triggers now the logic triggers in here yeah so the triggers so the main triggers are the very first one, which is loading mist, very very important that mist is loaded first, and it's uh, so it's not it's not on it's not uh, on mission styles once, but because it's the it always has to be the first trigger, mm -hmm. so um, it's it's the thing that you build upon, so it always has to be that first trigger. Right. So yeah. So after one time is more than one. So after one second, do script file, and that is. Mist.lua. Shall I press open just to see how that works, the open thing? You can open it and yep, yeah, you just basically point it to wherever you've extracted uh, the Mist Lua file. Roger. I probably can't access it from here, but it would have been in this case, it, I, I extracted it to download, so I would go to the drive wherever download is kept. I don't know where it's kept here, but uh, if I will just have a quick look, it might be in here maybe, it might be in here, uh, maybe not. It's probably on one of the other ones. Uh, anyway, I will go and find that uh, .lua file, and that's how we load it up. Okay, understood. And then the second one, CTLD what trigger you can see, and you can follow the top. Uh, the top one is basically the same trigger, so load once, time is more. Uh, it's got a couple of different things in there. We could ignore the first one, the sound to country thing, but the Descript file is the one we're interested in, so... We've got another D script file and the Drew script file, uh, and then we just point it to the CTL D script right. file. So let me go through this. So after two seconds, once Mist has been loaded, we're going to load the CTL D. We're going to load uh, sound to country. Is that anything relevant for this, or is this something? This is so, this an extra thing, isn't it? I'm presuming. Yeah, it's an extra thing. So what what it done? What they've done is in this particular miss uh, mm -hmm. in this particular mission, mm -hmm. they've set up a, a sound to country, which means that when you tune the radio in, mm -hmm. you're wow. to a certain frequency set elsewhere mm -hmm. in the mission. You'll get that beacon OOG file. Mm -hmm. So when you tune your radio in game 
to say uh, an ADF um, frequency, you'll hear the beep, 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 whatever noise that beacon.oog is making. Okay, wicked. I didn't know anything about this, but cool. Okay, anyway, let's carry on. So then do script file and it's ctld.lua. So what we would have done is gone open. We would have found where my download fo folder is. I don't actually know where it is on my computer. We'd find that. We go into the ctld folder and then find ctld.lua. Okay, very good. Yeah, so those are the, f the, 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 two, the first two basic things you need to get any of this stuff to work. Then the next thing you would do is build your mission and you'd have to build it in such a way that you're using the correct terms and things. Um, like I say, we're not going to go all the way into that because um, mm -hmm. it's very quite advanced. You'd need to reference the, PD, the, the, um, the instructions and the PDF stuff mm -hmm. for CTLD and MIST. But mm -hmm. we've already got a pre-built mission. It's a troop transport pickup mission. Uh, we can see the mission there, and we can just run them, run through and fly it. OK, well, let's have a, should we have, just have a quick look at these other triggers, just out of interest. We've got drop-off troops. So if part of coalition is in zone, extract. So that's that one there. So if, if part of my, sorry, part of group, if uh, extract 10, uh, if extract 10, who's extract 10? Um, Extract 10, if these guys, if these guys here are in here, then, try that, uh, no, if they are in um, here, then, troops dropped, okay, these are just normal triggers, aren't they, I get it, then activate, uh, oh, I see, so you're actually activating another group, um, yeah, it's that's how it works. Yeah, for this particular mission um, and the way we want to do it, because uh, what we're doing is we're picking up already dropped troop f f mm -hmm. uh, troops in the field. Mm -hmm. We're having to manipulate it slightly differently to how you normally do it. Mm -hmm. What you would normally do is this trick, this uh, the big red trigger that we've got, the return base trigger. Mm -hmm. That would be uh, the CTL the CTLD master pickup zone. And it's, mm -hmm. it's all explained in the documentation. So what you do is you'd fly into that zone, and mm -hmm. from that zone, it would then allow you to select crates or load up troops onto yeah. your helicopter. This mission is slightly different because it's... Uh, and the reason I'm showing it off is because it's akin to that mission we did picking up the Hellhounds. Roger. Cool. We've got that. Uh, and we've got a trigger with smart brokers. And I'll just show where that um, file was, that uh, kind of readme file. It was in the... Uh, mist is there mist guide and that's what you're talking about isn't it to how to use these things that's correct yeah so in the mist um they've got the pdf uh, the p the pdf for the uh, mist there's uh, should be instructions for the ctld uh there's lots of help on the official uh, dcs forums and on hogit for this these sorts of things as well beautiful okay um, out of interest, that, that Lua file, what programming language is that? I've never seen that before. So um, the programming file is at, the programming language is actually Lua, L L U. Oh, that's a language. When was that invented then? I've never, this is the last time I touched anything, it was C++ about 25 years ago. Um, I don't know all the details in and, in and outs off the top of my head. I think it's fairly old. Uh, it's a, I believe it's fairly old. I believe it's a, a, a sort of a, a formalized basic type of programming. Uh, so we need to go and jump in the mission now. So we've shown how we do the calls and the instruction manual we'll, look, we've just looked at will show you how to actually do the things. Is that the right thing to say? How to? Yeah, the instruction manuals will show you how to uh, how to use the uh, the scripting tools and how to change the the the, the, uh, the right. scripts, uh, what, what triggers right. and stuff to, to right. make it. We're not, not going to look at the app today. We're just looking at the overview, so that's fine. I'll jump into my Huey then, shall I? Shall I? And we'll see what happens. Let right. Know when you're in. I'm in. What should I do? Okay. So we're in our Huey, and we see our uh, trigger with the red smoke just to our left, which is the return to base trigger. Tally and some men running about. Yep. And we've got some men running about in the field that we need to pick up. Yep. So we'll uh, just do a, a short um, hover taxi over to them and, and land in front. Okay. Does it matter how close I get? Shouldn't matter. I uh, shouldn't need to get that close. I'm really tempted to look at this Lua scripting now. It looks so interesting, but 
That's, that's for another day. Right, I've got the boys. Uh, got the boys next okay. to me. What should I do now? So now we're going to go into our um, radio menus. So we're just going to uh, bring up our radio. We're going to F11 out of that first menu because we don't yep. need it. Roger. And then oh. we're going to look down our list and we see F10 other. That's the menu that we're going to be using, the Roger. other menu. We see F1 CTLD. Roger. Uh, then we see F1 again, troop transport. Roger. And then we see F1 again which is unload. If we had troops on us already, we'd unload them. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also see extract troops. Mm -hmm. So the troops in front of us, we want to extract them, press F1, they disappear, and it tells you that they're loaded onto your UE. Okay. Uh, we're now gonna pick up, fly down the runway to the blue marker. You should see blue smoke marker coming is there a set um any logic to set like maximum troops per helicopter is that all done within mist or yep that's all done inside um the ctld script so that ctld lua file mm -hmm. you can edit that file uh per mission yep. and change all of the settings and all sorts of different thing okay okay uh, you can limit uh, which helicopters can pick up which vehicles, etc, etc, etc. There's so many different combinations. Roger. Right, so all I need to do is get in this, within this, this trigger zone, presumably. Or just if I, yeah, smoke. just uh, land somewhere near the blue smoke. It'd be cool okay. to do some extraction in the in the next mission we do, the uh, next helicopter mission we do. Now we can do this, well, sort of. Yeah, so um, I'm obviously using the boys into doing the, uh, the the new mission creator role, um, but this is the sort of thing I hope to be able to produce with having that lead time of a couple of weeks. Yeah. We should be able to get stuff like this done. Cool. Okay, um, inbound, stand by. Slapping her down. Okay. Okay, so on the deck, uh, we just need to extract the troops. So uh, back into our radio menus. Um, probably need to back out the first menu again. Mm -hmm. uh, F10, and then CLTD commands, F1. And then we can go to F1 again. And yeah. we've got unload. Unload, yeah, doing. New call sign, troops drop from UH1 in combat. Where are they then? You oh. should see them off to hey your left. Boys. So. Uh, right lovely okay so that's very good so we'll call this a, a basic overview then shall we of the tools that you need to do to program this in um what would you advise for people that want to see how it's actually how it's all set up in the mission would you advise is there another video out there that can help them for that kind of thing the the more detailed um, side of it there's not that many video resources out for ctld it's pretty hard to find stuff mm. um so, uh, you know, maybe we'll plan to make an actual mission with CTLD, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, it'll be a, it'll be pretty basic. Yeah. But um, yeah, we might be able to might be able to show uh, how to actually make stuff. With it. All right, so that will be coming up in the future. For now, that's all. I hope that helps. Anything you want to add, slide before we sign off? Uh, no. Lovely. All right. See you later. Bye.